G'day folks and welcome back to the 4x4 Garage. We're here with Tim Tedamati from iDrive Australia. Tim's got an exciting product for the four-wheel drive market. It's a throttle controller to allow you to sharpen up the throttle or dampen it off when you're off-road. G'day Tim, welcome aboard. G'day Matt, thanks for having us. Tell us a bit about iDrive. The iDrive is an electronic throttle controller that's designed to allow you to adjust the response from the, the fly-by-wire pedal that's equipped in most modern vehicles. Um, either for increased response around town or towing, uh, or decreased response when you're off-road and, and want more control over the wheel speed. So when you say increased response, it's like you know, most of these turbo diesels have got a bit of lag in them, so it'll sharpen up the pedal response? It definitely. Both in automatic and manual transmissions, um, most turbo diesels tend to be quite flat uh, and then start to pick up. The iDrive can sharpen up that response and make the acceleration feel a lot less lazy. Making the car a bit more sprightly. But then as you say, when you're off-road, when you want less sharpness in the throttle, it'll dampen that off too. De definitely. Off-road obviously want to try and get more wheel speed control. Um, if you're in soft sand or in a really uh, rough terrain where you're bouncing around inside the cab, the iDrive can help to smooth that out and stop the wheel speed um, or the wheel spin and, and allow the tyres to do what they're designed to do. Good stuff. Now, we've seen other throttle remapping devices before. The iDrive is quite unique in having that auto setting on it. Uh, the automatic control basically is like a set and forget. Um, so it allows the, the unit itself to adjust based on your pedal pressure. If you're accelerating gently, like if you're in traffic, uh, it'll come on with a less aggressive setting. If you stand on it to overtake or for whatever reason, it'll come on more aggressively and, and give you that good aggressive acceleration. Yeah, it's a nice, nice little compact unit. You've got one there we're going to have a look at? Yeah, we've got one here that's powered up. So they're quite small. They can fit into the cabs of, of most modern vehicles. Uh, some people either fit them up on the dash where they're easy to, to access and, and they can see them. Others will choose to put them down low or out of the way uh, and just leave them on the auto control setting because you know, they don't need to constantly be adjusting it. Now our own Ronnie Moon's got one on both his Land Cruiser and his Hilux, he loves it. Yep. They must be pretty easy to fit if Ronnie can get it done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we never like to um, judge uh, anyone's mechanical ability, um, but the fitment of these is quite simple and easy. On a scale of 1 to 10 they're about a 1 um, and most fitments can be done in under 2 minutes. Good stuff. Now we've got the Ranger here. You're going to show us how easy they are to fit? Yeah, for sure. Great. Let's go and have a look. No worries. Installation of the iDrive is as simple as locating the factory pedal plug, undoing the plug going into the pedal, fitting the iDrive into the pedal plug, and then the factory wiring back in on top. And then wiring the cable up through the steering column and securing it out of the way of any of the pedals or the moving parts of the vehicle. And that's it, installation done. So we fitted the iDrive unit to this Ranger yesterday and uh, today we've got a nice sunny day to come out and have a drive. Just climbing up the hill here in the Rangers and in the standard Ford setting, the i5 engine is pretty torquey, but the throttle's still a little bit doughy. So we can just flick up the settings here into the performance mode and straight away that throttle becomes more reactive. You know, I put my foot down nowhere near as much as I was before and that is really snappy. That's almost sports car like compared to the standard setting. Then you can go the other way and go to an economy mode and that throttle travels really long now. It's uh, quite a doughy almost slow responsive thing. And that's great when you're off-road, when you're bouncing on uneven tracks and you don't want your foot bouncing on the accelerator pedal to give you smooth travel up along the tracks. But if you want the best of both worlds, just flick it into the automatic mode and it'll adapt to your style of driving. So if I wanted to drive hard, it'll pick that more aggressive throttle pattern. Off-road, when you want a smooth, less harsh setting, it'll adapt that. So that's a great thing for everyday driving. With its automatic settings, its performance settings and the economy off-road type settings, the iDrive's really got a pattern for every style of driving. So it's perfect for the four-wheel driver, takes that sloppiness out of the uh, turbo diesel lag, really makes the car much more drivable and enjoyable to drive. It's a good thing. 